Hi, this is just a quick video. Um, I'm here at Carlton Cemetery and Crematorium. I'm actually doing a video on a another famous person's grave, but I've been asked, could I possibly show my viewers Jimmy Clitheroe's tree? Now, apparently in the rosebed section here at Carlton Cemetery and Crematorium, there's a tree, a full-size tree, with Jimmy Clitheroe's plaque on. Now, I've been looking around the actual rose bed area. I've looked online and I've seen photographs that actually state that his tree is actually here. Um, but unfortunately, apparently it died around about 2008, 2009. It had to be felled. The tree died. Now, I've spoke to the groundsman. They don't know why it died. So there's no memorial tree to Jimmy Clitheroe. But what I will do is I will show you where the tree stood and I will match it up with a photograph from 2008 of where the tree used to stand. Jimmy Clitheroe was born James Robinson Clitheroe on the 24th of December, 1921 in Clitheroe, Ribble Valley Borough, Lancashire. He died on the 6th of June 1973, aged 51. He was an English comic entertainer, best remembered for his long-running BBC radio programme, The Clitheroe Kid, that run from 1956 to 1972. On the 30th of March 1973, Clitheroe collapsed in his hotel room in Plymouth while touring in a variety show and spent four days in hospital. Jimmy Clitheroe died on the 6th of June 1973 from an accidental overdose of sleeping pills. It was on the day of his mother's funeral. His funeral was held here at Carlton Crematorium on the 11th of June 1973 and a memorial plaque was attached to tree number three. Now, as I've said, I've been looking around for this tree and from the picture I found on the internet, I've matched up the background and I've spoke to the groundsman and he actually confirmed that if you look at the picture that I'm showing you now, you will see that there's a metal pole in the background. Well, this groundsman confirmed that that metal pole was removed not so long ago. So I do have the exact point. So we're coming up to it now. So the tree is gone. Uh, there's nothing here. Jimmy Clitheroe's ashes were actually collected. So they've never been scattered in these grounds. All that was here was a memorial tree. And I've got you lined up now. So I'll turn you around and you can see where the tree once stood. Well, if you look at the picture and you look at that, it's obviously quite a few years have gone by. The picture's 2008. Um, how I know is I've matched it up with, if you look at the top of the, where the gutter is on this left-hand side and count three tiles on the bottom row, you will see a dark shade in the corner of the third tile. And if you look at the picture from 2008, you will see that dark shade. Anyhow, the groundsman has confirmed that a metal pole stood roughly there in the middle of that grass. And just here in front of me where I'm pointing now was where tree number three with Jimmy Clitheroe's plaque was on, just there. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't give you any more information. There's nothing here, his ashes have been collected. Um, there's no other reference on the internet to where the ashes might have gone. Unfortunately, his memorial tree has been felled. And that's it for me, Paul, here at Interesting Places at Carlton Cemetery and Crematorium. The end of another video. I'll catch you again. Thanks for watching and bye for now.